when you're using Pro-Engine, there's a couple of different threads you can use. You can use a cosmetic thread, or you can use a helical sweep. If you want to see the thread, then use a helical sweep. This is very handy for when you want to do presentation drawings that include the thread. To do this, go to the Insert menu, Helical Sweep and Protrusion. You'll see that this menu here comes up. The first bit is about defining the attributes. You don't have to change anything here, so just click Done. The next menu that comes up is about selecting the plane that you're going to draw the thread on. Now it's very important that you have use a plane which is in the centre of the cylinder. In this case, either the right or the front will be perfect. I'm going to select the front because it's there. Once you've selected your plane, you get an option to flip the direction you're going to show it on or to leave it as it is. Leave it as it is, so just click OK. Next thing is about the sketcher. Attributes default is what you want. Now that we're in the sketcher window, the first thing we have to do is mark on the center line that the sweep will take place around. To do that, click on this arrow here beside the line and select center line. The cursor when you bring it across will snap to the middle and click again on the center. That's perfect. Now you want to draw a line to tell Pro Engineer how long you want your thread to be. So, we select the line tool here. We start at the, the bottom and come up a distance. To change the size here, go to the arrow tool and set the size here. When you've done these two things and you're happy with it, click on the little done button at the bottom. Next we have to enter the pitch value that takes place here. I'm going to leave this at 16. And to be able to enter this, what we have to do is drag this out of the way. And it's this little green tick here. So when you're happy with the pitch value, click the green tick. Next you have to define the section of your thread. And we can do that by zooming into the bottom corner and drawing the section that you need. When you draw your section here, make sure you draw it to the sizes that you need. When you've finished drawing the section of the sweep, click on the Done button at the bottom here. And this bit I'm going to zoom back out so I can see it all. And then I want to see it so I'm going to say Preview. And you can see here, the preview of that is there. You can change these details quite easily now, if you're not happy with what you see. For example, if you want to change the pitch, select Pitch click define. You can change the pitch value, then click preview and it's changed. Now at this stage you'll notice that the preview settings are in red. To see them in the shaded view, simply rotate your model and it'll update to the new preview settings. When you're happy with the finished settings, click OK to accept them. When you draw a thread in your model, and you want to see that thread does British standards when you take it into its orthographic view, using the insert helical sweep and protrusion command isn't good, because it won't be drawn to British standards. Therefore, we need to use a different command. The command should be insert cosmetic thread. Once you've clicked on that, you see this menu appear. The first thing you have to do is the thread surface, which is the curved surface you're going to put a thread on. So, once you've done your cylinder, you can select the curved surface you're going to do that, and that should be here. Now it's saying to select the start surface, so if I want the thread to start from the very end of this, I'll click here. It's saying directions OK, or flip. See the arrow that's coming down here? It's going in the right direction, so I'm going to say OK. Now you have to specify how long this thread should go down this bar for. If I say blind, and say done, then I have to type in the depth here. I think I'm going to have the depth going to 150mm of my 200mm cylinder. 
Once you've done that, you should be clicking on this little green arrow, which is behind behind this, so move out the way, click on the green arrow. Now it's saying to define the major diameter of the thread. Now this is how big the thread's going to be. Now this bar here is 100mm diameter, so I'm going to put the thread is 90mm. I'm going to leave it at that for this example. So I'm going to click the tick. Now it's saying, um, are you quite happy with what you've done? If you're happy with what you've done, say done and return, and then preview. You can all see this purple line now. This is showing that this bar has been threaded. It's just that we can't see the screw thread on this. We're happy with that. I'm going to say OK. Now, the idea then was to take this drawing into the orthographic drawing part of Pro Engineer. So to do that and show you this actually works, I'm going to say New, say Drawing. Now, what I'll do now is I'll insert that view here. And we'll select the hidden style. Then I'll redraw that. And you can see now, and we'll zoom into so you can see a bit closer, that this is now drawn to British standards. This faint grey line will be printed as a hidden detail line. So this now shows the British standard for a threaded bar. So when you come to draw a thread, make sure if you're going to take it into having to draw an orthographic drawing of it, you do it using this command. If you've already used the insert elliptical sweep protrusion command to produce a thread like this, this is a good way of showing it in a presentation drawing. However, if you want to show it as an orthographic drawing to British standards, this is no use. Instead of deleting it though, we can simply suppress it. So to do that, use this side bar here, click on the protrusion, right click and then select suppress. OK to confirm that and it will disappear. Now we can add the cosmetic thread. So we can go insert, cosmetic thread as a surface we want. The start surface is the bottom. It's going up the way. I'll do it to the same depth. And now we have that in here. Now when we come to show this as a drawing sheet, we can see now that it's followed the British standards. So you can see that we can go from having the elliptical sweep command for the display drawings and easily change that to a cosmetic thread for the British standard orthographic drawings.